cause that. So, okay. Uh, many folks have asked me, uh, why in the world would you want to run for county commissioner? Uh, a lot of people call me crazy. Uh, a lot of people uh, just say, why, why do you want to do that? So I thought that was a really good question, and it, it's a question that I asked myself uh, over and over. Uh, the decision to run did not come lightly, uh, but with much consideration and prayer, uh, I decided to uh, run for county commissioner. I've had family members involved in politics, so I know in local politics, and so I know the demands and the time involved and the importance of the decisions that are being made. One element in my decision to run for office was to consider that my family has been blessed to live in Watauga County for 11 generations. I firmly believe all citizens have a responsibility to give back to their community in some way, and there are many ways to serve. I've always tried to teach my children the importance of being a servant leader. I feel this is the time in my life to accept responsibility and to serve the community and the local government. We have important issues that are... Hang on just a second. We have important issues that are uh, before us that need to be addressed. Tim, 30 seconds. Okay. I believe a plan for strong economic growth is a priority. The county must be creative in developing a business environment that encourages our existing businesses to grow and expand, new businesses to relocate, and startups to begin. We have many pieces to the puzzle in place. We just need strong leaders who are, connect who are good at connecting those pieces. I believe I have the knowledge and skills and the experience to do that. We've got school facility needs that need to be addressed, uh, and I'm done. Thank you. Often, I've I'm, I'm never been to a town council meeting up here, though, I'll tell you that, but I would commit to, to doing that uh, because uh, I really think it's important that we all work together. Uh, that's, I, I'm with Tommy on that. I, I believe uh, being a good listener is important, and that's something that I, that I like to do is hear what other people have to say, and I think it's to be a good leader, you've got to be able to do that. So I love to come to Bowling Rock. Uh, I love to eat up here. We've got some great restaurants up here. So we live over in the Vice community. But, uh, you know, it's not hard to get over here. So uh, you'll see me if I'm elected. Thanks. Uh, to all that information, uh, you know, when it was being discussed with the, the commission, that's a great first question. Uh, but uh, I do believe that we, uh, that a, a recreation uh, center uh, was something that the, the county has wanted. Uh, I do believe. Did that mean? Yeah, he's walking right <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, but, uh, now this made, made me forget what I was sleeping there. So, uh, but uh, I do believe that a recreation uh, center is important uh, for the community as a whole. I do have concerns that outlying areas like, like Bethel, where, where Billy lives, and I live in Vilas and Blowing Rock, it's going to be a little bit hard to, to use it for those areas. But I do believe it is centrally located. Uh, I think it's something that would benefit Bowen Rock economically. Uh, I've uh, tried to research that, and uh, they say there's a, uh, it's been said that there's 26 to 46 million dollars economic impact, and I think that that will help some with with Bowen Rock. Uh, if if I had been on there though, uh, I would be honest with you, I would really try to. Uh, Come in less than that, if, if that makes sense. I've been in business for a long time, for over 30 years. I've dealt with a lot of contractors. I've built, been involved in development and commercial buildings and, and uh, residential. And uh, there are ways that you can cut costs. And I, I would have hoped we could have come in under that. Uh, but that's just, uh, uh, I guess that's where we are now. But I haven't been a part of that conversation. Campaign material targeting Blowing Rock and Blowing Rock voters. Do you plan for this current campaign? How many yard signs? Okay. Um, okay, well, my signs are out there. I hope you saw them, and if anybody needs some, they're right back there. But uh, uh, we, uh, we've, we've already had uh, signs up here. Actually, I'd like to thank my wife for helping me with those. And uh, we're interested in the Bowen Rock Boaters. Uh, I know a lot of people in Bowen Rock, a lot of the people that, that work for the town. And, uh, and a lot of you in the community, and I've met some of you tonight, and I appreciate that and enjoy getting to know you, but um, I don't know, was there an exact amount that I need to okay. say? <laughs> okay. Okay. We here at Forest of Watauga Schools on the elementary and middle school levels have many facilities that are aging or in disrepair. Some of them are over a half century old. How can the county commission justify spending $38 million on a rec center 
rather than accelerate school infrastructure. Well, that's kind of a tough question. I'm not an incumbent, so uh, but I, I can tell you, I can answer that question. How would you answer it? Two months from now. Yeah. Let me read this again. Can I read it again? Sure. We hear reports that we're talking to schools on the elementary and middle school levels have many facilities that are aging in disrepair. Some of them have over a half century old. How can the county commission justify spending 38 million? On a recreation center rather than accelerate school infrastructure spending. I, my wife was on the school board and uh, I have a good understanding of the school needs that we've had. We've had them for a long time and personally I would like to see us to, to have seen us had a plan for these schools. Uh, it's very important uh, that we have uh, Valley Cruces and Hardin Park. Hardin Park is 125 percent capacity right now so we definitely have school needs and I would have liked to have seen, I know we're working on that, but a, a long-range proactive plan instead of a reactive plan for our schools. So if I had been on there, which is always hard to do, uh, to, to make that because you are not privy to all the information, but uh, I would have liked to have seen a plan for those school needs in place uh, before we move forward with that recreation center. But I just want to thank you all again for the invitation to come and share my thoughts and my ideas. Uh, needless to say, this is my first time, if you read my bio, for running for political office. It's been very interesting. Uh, I've eaten a lot of fried fish, a lot of barbecue, and I've spoken to a lot of people, and I've got, I've got this to show for it. But uh, The best part of the campaigning is getting to know the citizens. Uh, I've always thought the best leaders are not always the ones that use the most words, but the ones that can listen well. And I feel like I'm a good listener. I've spoken with many citizens, including farmers, contractors, business owners, students, government leaders, talked to educators, and yes, even people that don't have the same political persuasion as me. A county commissioner has a lot of hard decisions to make, and they're not easy, as these guys could uh, attest to that. But I believe a good leader is, to, is able to review the situation, the positives and the negatives, and how it will affect the stakeholders. Uh, uh, once educated on the issue, I believe a good leader is able to step back for a moment, assess where we are, review where we want to go, and then discern the best way to get there. I have confidence that I can do that. Uh, I believe Watauga County is in a unique position uh, to prosper economically and educationally and culturally. Uh, I believe if we're unified uh, as our country needs, I would like for us to set the standard for unification because it, it's not that way in our national politics. but. I believe if we're unified and we use common sense, conservative values, uh, that our communities and our towns are uh, ahead, have a bright future ahead. So I appreciate your vote on November 6th.